what's up everybody welcome back to my channel how's it going what are you up to you live in big you live in large i hope you are say hi hello this is not a demon slayer related video this is actually my manga collection part two 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 it's also a manga suggestion recommendations yeah for um people who like to read mangas but yeah today i'll be showing you some of my newly favorites and why i like them and their stories so let's get at it So the first one I want to recommend is called Perfect World. This is what the first one looks like. It is wonderful. I highly suggest getting this one. We have the, our two main characters right here, Tsukumi and Itsuki. And so after 26 years, these two reunite at a work-related party. She had a huge crush on him in high school and she was kind of shocked to see that he was in a wheelchair. In high school, his dream was to be an architect. He dreamed of it. That was his dream. We all have dreams but he unfortunately got into a major accident and he suffered a spinal injury, which caused him to be in a wheelchair. Even so, she sees him and her feelings start to come back. And of course you could see possibly a romance blossoming from this. This book is not peaches and cream, I can tell you that. It doesn't show a relationship that's 100% happy all the time, everything goes their way. Like this is a very real adult love. It shows a lot of the hardships that he has to face as someone in a wheelchair, as someone that's disabled. A lot of his feelings are portrayed in it and a lot of her feelings are portrayed on how she wants to help him out and she's figuring out how to help him out because it's tough, you know what I mean? Love isn't tough and the obstacles that you have in a relationship are tough. It's wonderful, highly suggest this. So I wanna show a couple of the covers real quick. The artwork is absolutely 100% amazing. It's just immaculate and just, I highly suggest it. go buy it, you guys. You will not regret it. This is a 10 out of 10, five out of five. I, I love it. The next one I highly suggest is A Sign of Affection. This book is absolutely wonderful because it also portrays another disabled person. This book is absolutely wonderful. So we have our main character, Yuki, who is a deaf college student. She mainly talks and communicates through sign language and her phone because not many people know sign language and during the beginning here we have her she's out there doing her own thing and then all of a sudden a tourist comes her way speaks to her in english and she's kind of like freaking out kind of like struggling because she's deaf and she doesn't know English, she struggles with English and that's completely fine. And so then we have this wonderful stranger, Itsomi, who comes and helps her out a bit because he knows English. He actually knows three different languages, if I'm not mistaken. And Itsunomi is actually a friend of a friend of Yuki's. Itsunomi knows three different languages, but he's never had someone who is deaf. So that interests him to actually learn sign language and actually be able to start communicating with Yuki on her level. And that is just so freaking cute. That just shows a lot of the opportunities that you can have when you try to learn someone else's perspective and their language. And just like a lot of my mangas, you know how it is, a romance blossoms. I highly suggest this. It is, the art style is impeccable to be honest. Here is a little glimpse. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The next one I have recommended to you guys is Living Room Matsunaga-san. So this is a really cute book if you like books on strangers just living together. That's it. Just kidding. We have our lovely lady here, Miko. She is a high school student who ends up living at her uncle's boarding house where there is just a bunch of lovely people living there. And she is the youngest of them all. This shows a lot of the struggles that she goes on by living by herself. The parents have moved to take care of the ill grandma. So she's living on her own with these strangers that basically become a family to her. And it's, oh my God, it's so cute. But while these strangers are there, there's this man right here. Matsunaga-san, who she ends up developing a crush. Now, this book is really beautiful, to be honest. She is a high school student and he is, if I'm not mistaken, 28 though. 
and a lot of this time he ends up acting and being her mom basically he tries to take care of her but i don't know where this is going it is a very coming of age manga though because you do see her growing as a person and learning to live on her own and live with these wonderful people that's the crew they're quite lovely to be honest the next one i need to buy them all because this series is absolutely cute kohei inuzuka i am so sorry if i pronounce these wrong please forgive me he recently lost his wife unfortunately so he's a single dad trying to raise his wonderful daughter and the main thing that he has a problem with is that he sucks at cooking just like me and to top it off that he sucks at cooking he really doesn't eat a lot he doesn't have a huge appetite can't relate but like all great mangas fate brings him kotori ida and she knows how to cook he's actually she sorry she's actually one of his students she wants to learn her mom's recipes and cook for her mom more and he wants to provide great meals for his daughter so the three of them venture on in the kitchen basically it's a really cute book i only have the first one so i do not know how this ends at all but it's a light read and it's just really adorable and i'm very attached to this and actually there is an animation of this too and the best part about this manga is that there's actually the recipes i want to cook with their cooking hold up i can i can make a salisbury steak and that's all I have, you guys. I know it's a little short today, but I really hope you enjoy these recommendations. I highly suggest checking them out because they are all so good, like insanely good. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, please check out a couple of videos. See if you like what you like. See if you like what you're seeing. There we go. And if you do, maybe subscribe. As always, much love XXOO to you all. I love you. Bye, you guys. Have a wonderful day.